Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. This is the new Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, and it's the most powerful Android tablet we've come across yet. If you've seen Samsung's new flagship phones, both the interface and features here will feel quite familiar. Let's go over what this tablet has to offer in our hands-on video. The Galaxy Tab S7 Plus is pretty sizable. It's built around a 12.4 inch screen. Overall, it's quite thin and relatively light. The sandblasted mystic black finish looks like graphite and feels satisfying to touch, though it does tend to attract plenty of fingerprints. The tablet's display is an AMOLED with a 2800 by 1752 resolution. This gives you a total of 266 ppi, which is plenty sharp for this kind of device. A unique feature here is a high 120Hz screen refresh rate. This means that supported content and UI elements will look much smoother to the eye. On top of that, for audio, the S7 Plus has a loud quad stereo speaker setup with Dolby Atmos support. Watching content is pretty satisfying here. And the Tab S7 Plus has an under-display fingerprint reader you can use to unlock the device, just like smartphones with an AMOLED screen. Another attractive feature of the S7 Plus is this updated stylus. It's the same advanced S Pen that you see on the Note 20 Ultra, and it brings super low 9 millisecond latency. It's really responsive, and coupled with the screen's high refresh rate, the writing sensation feels quite authentic. The stylus also grants you a variety of air actions, which are gesture controls for the UI or supported apps. Kind of neat if you want to seem like a wizard waving a wand. Eventually, you do have to recharge the S Pen, but this is no problem. It wirelessly charges through the magnetic strip on the back of the tablet. There is also a keyboard, which can attach to the Tab S7 Plus, making it behave more like a laptop, but that's sold separately. We don't have one of those with our unit. You can opt for 128 or 256 gigs of storage on board the device, and unlike the iPad Pro, it's expandable here via microSD. The Tab S7 Plus brings a Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset, the cream of the crop as far as Android's chips go. This should be plenty of power for your mobile tasks and gaming, and also offers support for connectivity to 5G networks, depending on the model you get. Ours is the less expensive Wi-Fi only version though. Another area in which the S7 Plus aims to impress is in battery life. It packs a huge 10,000 mAh battery, much larger than what last year's model had. This should be able to keep you going for hours. And when it's time to top things up, you get support for 45 watt fast charging. But for this speed, you'll have to buy the appropriate power delivery charger separately. As far as cameras go, you get the same dual camera setup as last year's Galaxy Tab S6. There's a 13 megapixel main camera and a 5 megapixel ultra wide. And the selfie camera is 8 megapixels, also the same as last year's model. However, we expect advancements as far as software processing goes for the cameras. For one thing, you get night mode this time around for better results when shooting photos in dark conditions. So there you have it guys, the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus is a cutting edge Android tablet that's almost like a super sized Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, so understandably it doesn't come cheap. It's 900 euros for the Wi-Fi version, and over a thousand for the 5G one. Do you think it has what it takes to give the iPad Pro a run for its money? Let us know down below, and I'll see you on the next one.